Oh, I'm so excited about this book. This is about the life cycle of a caterpillar all the way to a butterfly. So it is a National Geographic kids book called Caterpillar to Butterfly. It's a level one, which means it's probably a really good book for you to read um, if you're between kindergarten and second grade. And um, if you have the book, please read along with me. It's by Laura Marsh. Caterpillar to Butterfly. Oh, in the beginning of this book, we have a table of contents. The table of contents helps you find the spots that you want to read if you need to jump around. So if I was wanting to learn more about the butterfly stage, I could jump to page 18 and read about it there instead of starting at page one and going one page at a time. It's a really nice way to find what you are, what part you're looking for if you've already read the book and want to go back and reread just one section. Riddle. What starts as an egg, then walks on many legs, and then uses its wings to fly? A butterfly. Beautiful butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors and some have bold patterns too. Four stages. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages in a butterfly's life. The egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. Stage one, egg. A mother butterfly lays many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food, caterpillar food that is. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes and colors. Stage two, the caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. The caterpillar eats its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf and eats that too. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. Then a new skin fits for a while but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin too. Caterpillars shed their skin four or five times. Stage three, chrysalis. By now the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down and it sheds its skin one more time. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It is a hard shell. Inside the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. Stage four, butterfly. The chrysalis moves. It splits open. The butterfly wiggles out. Its wings are wet and crumpled. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden. The wings dry. Now the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. Time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like caterpillars. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. Cool butterfly facts. <clears throat> One, the world's smallest butterfly is the blue pygmy. It's length of a pushpin from wing to wing. Well, that's a small butterfly. Oh, that was number two. <laughs> Number one is butterflies' wings are covered with tiny scales. Number three, butterflies are found all over the world except in Antarctica and the driest deserts. Four, there are about 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. That's a lot of butterflies. Five, butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. Six, the world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. It is as long as a ruler from wing to wing. That's pretty big. Ooh, back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are a tasty snack for predators, but they have tricks to keep their predators away. Some hide with camouflage. Some can be deadly to eat. Some look like other things. Moth or butterfly. <clears throat> Moths and butterflies look alike. Here's how you can tell them apart. Butterfly, antenna are thin and have little knobs at the end. 
Bodies are slender, can be brightly colored, and mostly fly during the day. Moths, the antenna, slim to a point and then look like a feather. Their bodies are fat and furry. They mostly fly around at night, and they're usually brown, tan, or white. Bring butterflies to you. You can bring butterflies to your backyard, make a butterfly garden, but first ask an adult for help. Here's what you'll need. Plants that are local to your area, plants that bloom at different times, orange, purple, yellow, pink, and red flowers, flowers that are clustered together, flat top flowers, a sunny spot for butterflies to rest, like a flat stone, a wet or watery spot for butterflies to drink, and no chemicals, which can hurt butterflies and caterpillars. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of butterfly things. Use the hints below to figure out the pictures. Ooh, let's see if we can do this. Hint, a caterpillar starts here. Hmm, what could that be? An egg. Two, big change happens inside this. Do you remember what that's called? A chrysalis. Three, ooh, it, it's an all-day eater. Oh, it looks like a caterpillar. Hint, number four, this is covered with scales. That's gotta be the butterfly wing. Five, it uses this to hide from predators. Oh, it's kind of blending in. What's that science word for that? Camouflage. Six, hint, you won't find these on your head. Ooh, antenna. <laughs> and there we are. Thank you for joining me for Caterpillars to Butterflies. Remember that life cycle of a butterfly. We start in an egg, then out of the egg comes the caterpillar. Then the caterpillar goes into the chrysalis, and when it comes out, it's a butterfly. And then the butterfly again will lay an egg. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.